Greetings and welcome, fellow sentient beings, to another episode of Let's Play Last Federation. Right, where are we? Right, the Skylaxians. Right, let's just have a think about this. I have the option of giving the Peltians a bit of a science boost. The Skylaxians are already well on the way, so getting a science boost to the Skylaxians wouldn't hurt. Uh, manufacturing wise, they are fine, no need to help them there. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do a cooperative tech. Let's get the planetary improvements. And just fast forward for a few months. Right. In some credits. I like to like me more. And we now have a copy of the tech. Uh, the wireless. What are the wireless communications? Like, what other techs do they have? I mean, I could just learn some text. Geopolitical fancy analysis enabled the RCI data. Residential commercial industry. Alright, I've delayed showing you these things long enough. There are four overall RCI scores for each planet from left to right in the bottom row of the icons above. Economic, medical, environmental and public order. These range from minus 2000 to plus 2000. Tool tips for each icon tell you more about the consequence of each value getting negative. These represent overall societal trends and a quality of life on a planet. A poor quality planet, even a planet like you, uh, even a planet you like, rather, <laughs> is not necessarily bad for you. These affect the likelihood of each kind of bad or good event and quest at each location. In some cases, you can only get the best quest when a planet is doing terrible. Desperation motivates. And again, as noted, the chance increases for new, really awful events to happen. To happen. As diseases, typhoons, etc. So it's a gamble. Let's talk about trends. Exactly one RCI value per planet is going to be trending either up or down at all times. On the left, we see the public order trending up for the accusions. That's why it's a blue icon. And on the right, we see the red public icon for the Peltians, showing that it's trending down for them. What causes trends? You know, life stuff. People do things, butterflies flap wings, and trends emerge. Hey, a whole bunch of new political deals open up for you. Dozens, literally. These tend to be called planetary advice, and you can use them to convince a race to focus on hereditary crime or enact tax breaks or whatever. Remember, one trend per planet. If you execute a political deal with a race that starts a new trend, it replaces the old one. Experiments. Don't try to max them out. They are a useful tool and higher is often better. But really negative numbers also open up some cool opportunities. Right, so we have that now. Um... Oh. Not with the Acutians, at the very least. Get the Peltians improved. Give them the basic subatomic uh, theory. Took some one solar month. We spent some money. So the Peltians like the Skylaxians a little bit more. 
And the Peltines dislike me a little bit less. And now that we have new options, we should really check what's going on for the plans. All right, so the Skalaxians are currently having a positive trend for public order. So not really need to worry about that. They have an awful environment. Um, would probably help them with that, but let's have a look around. Alright, so they have a negative economic trend. Hmm. Well, I kind of want to keep them slow for the time being. So there's no need to help the Acutians that much. Uh, let's see. We have a positive trend in the economic, so... Overall, you're looking... Well, negative trend in public order, that's, that's okay. Um, the other planets I don't know yet. Let's have a look at the planet here. So we are at the Peltian homeworld. Need to keep reminding myself which one of them they are. Do a couple of uh, things useful to them. Are useful to me at the very least. Let's see here. Um, I can't do cooperative research because they hate me too much. Um, could give them a hand. Let's let's give them a hand with local law enforcement. Go to the trend is right, that's probably good enough. Yeah, let's end this patch. Right, they like me a little bit better, but it's clearly not anywhere near enough. I we really need to do something better than this. I could give them a technology. Do I want to? Uh, and that's a wrong window. Racial power grid. Let's give them a technology. Improved textbooks. Oh, it's a start. Well, this probably would help them right now. Give them that one as well. Let's learn bomb shelters. at the most tech so let's let's see if we can learn from them let's get the fiber optics action and event notifications enabled even though you might have known it you've been flying a bit blind until now yeah you don't say the eight races are at all time taking various actions and periodic events are happening on the planets and space installations throughout the solar system. The new sidebar on the right sidebar on the right hand side of the solar map will show you the major ones only. And the bottom below that lets you see everything. 
Each little icon or each row on the full notification log has information on who did it, where it happened, if relevant, and what happened. Oh, by the way, those icons on the sidebar are color coded by race, so you can tell at a glance which race each icon corresponds to. This is what the full notification log looks like. You can click the text of any item to get the pop up on the details about it. You can also click any icon. Yeah. For instance, this is a view you get if you click on the Thoraxia icon. You can see all the actions and events that are theirs. Or here's what you see if you click the research tag icon. It shows you all the tags that have been researched by any race. In the last screen, here's what happens if you click the Accution icon. You can see the history of tags or research by just by them. Very handy. But wait, there's one little bit. If you click on the planetary details of any planet or outposts of the main solar map, you get the specific event blow up for just that location too. Right. Well, there's lots of stuff. Still don't have too many details. Yeah, Alright, let's see if we can uh, improve stuff. I don't want to learn about the bombs per se. Is there anything I can give them? I mean, they have no real problems with public order at the moment, so there's no need to help from them. Uh, I don't, we can just do a little bit of helping, that wouldn't hurt. Let's give them a slight hand with the environment. Until the environment is at least not quite so lethal to them. Oh great! There's an outbreak. Everyone is locking down their spaceports. And... What well, the disease appears. Disease appears, a rara for the Skylaxian. Uh, that's not great. The 60 solar months. Hmm. Well, we can at least do cooperative research now. Right, the hive queen is tweeting. So I'm guessing the Thoraxians have been boosting their military. Yeah, we kinda need to give the Peltians a little bit of help. Can't make any deals just yet. Improve relations with. Uh, could give them uh, technology, so that won't help them necessarily. Um. want to do. You're about to go space fading. It's really just you that's left behind now. Let's go to the Boreans.
Do I want to attempt this? If this is probably the last one I can do, may as well try. Alright, so it won't allow me to use my special abilities for obvious reasons. Alright, let's move her closer then. Uh, we need to go this way. Hmm. Well, maybe if we're lucky we can pass through with a minimum of fuss. Probably not, but we can try. fire All right, let's just dive in the Borines are now spacefaring they are solitary and dangerous they may be a difficult ally alright so we only had a little bit of loss with the Skylaxian so this is fine And there's a new quest. The Irvac military has a secret proposal to gain spacefaring tech. You get spacefaring tech in ten, a couple of minutes. They would like me more. They will offer me payments. I've been pressured into asking you to help us with a special matter that will allow us to accelerate our aerospace program. There's some sort of military operation going on in our upper atmosphere involving races and already space fading. You seem to have found some sort of abandoned technology of yours, as best I can tell from the way you chat. Let's do that one then. Let's begin the quest. I mean, I can destroy stuff, that's not a problem. Right, so we have a Borines. Well, uh, we can probably deal with this. Uh, whoops. Right. Uh, minigun is still the best option. And luckily there is not that much threat going on. The enemy ship's not currently powerful enough. Uh, right, your shields are down. So let's just curl around you. And let's just target your ship. They've got some pirates left behind. Switch back to auto fire. And. Yeah, I'm gonna finish this mission. Lot of stuff. 
Mm. Launch a couple of fighters. Let's select fire just on that guy. Shields are down. Nice driver. And where's the last ship? Is this one? And that's an Evox ship. Where's the last ship? Not totally seeing it. Oh, there it is. Let's switch back to auto fire. are now spacefaring. Extreme caution is advised. They are not aggressive, but are incredibly dangerous when cornered. These are the same beings who wiped out most of your population with mysterious technology. Hmm. Graphing action totally activated and awesome. Oh yeah, I know you like them graphs. No, really? Shot me? Well, I'm a computer. Anyway, if you find you want to get an idea of the trends over time for lots of stuff, and there's a new button for you on the detailed intel tab on the main solar map. More will also open up later. Let me show you a quick few examples of uh, which graphs can be useful. Check out this military graph showing the total power of all the races. See how the collections overtake the Accutions? That's from text, not from art pacing them in ship production. You could verify that in the notification log, tech progress tab or racial power grid. There are lots of ways of, to figure out how things came to such a dire end, and when the end comes. Err, uh, I mean, I have total faith in you. Bam, check this one out. Population graphs of all sorts abound. I mean, there really are a lot. This one shows total raw citizenry. Look at how freaking accusions, how many freaking accusions there are. By the way, these numbers are totally, for example, purposes only and aren't from your specific situation. So yeah, <clears throat> specific situation, thank goodness. Even with uh, 112 billion citizens, the Accutions don't look like they stand a chance against this collection. Boom, ground troops graph. Looks like the collections and the Accutions are actually pretty evenly matched here. Though Accutions have the ability to rapidly repurpose their citizens, so a ground invasion by the collections wouldn't go well. Anyway, better to bomb them from orbit. Seriously, I'm not quoting the cliché. Actually, go bomb them from orbit, orbit. I mean, if this was your situation, which is not. But if you find yourself in a similar one, it's totally what I should, what you should do. All right, last graph. I'm giddy with all these numbers and lines. Anyway, this shows smuggler populations. Too many smugglers for one race, and they'll collapse into a smuggler empire, which isn't the best. Fortunately, there aren't many smugglers. Well. That was for a, a few of the many graphs. You need to study them intensively? Of course not. Are they fun to look at? Depends on you, I guess. Are they useful for answering historical questions? Heck yeah, nothing better. Alright, so we... Uh, need another race space fitting. Yeah, I have no idea how to solve the problem here. Uh, let's head over to the black market. 
the I could buy a mysterious hydro technology. Ten thousand credits. Um, I could hire some scientists. Would be useful if I wanted to do something. Uh, do some personal research. Let's have a look at the tech progress. Now that we have, uh, what's this disease called again? Now oh, it's already burned out. The bombing tubers. Bombing tubers. Yeah. Doesn't say exactly. In any case, I don't have the means of searching that here, it seems. Right. If I wanted to hire some scientists for 10,000 credits and then do some research. Probably overdid it a little bit, but that's fine. Mm. Let's do some lab grown meat for a month. We have gone way over time. Oops. Thank you all for watching. And if you like my stuff, please rate, comment, and subscribe. I keep forgetting to ask that, don't I? Thank you for watching. See you all next time.